with Simon Stevens. Simon's Director of Research and Development for National Paintball. He's here uh, with the Invert brand, which is a new, uh, new brand line on the market with a brand new product, the Invert Mini. What can you tell us about it, Simon? Absolutely. This is a whole new gun that we're bringing out. New concept, new technology, really quite revolutionary in many different ways. From the most obvious one that you see initially is there are no macro lines, no fittings, no hoses on this gun whatsoever. The gas actually goes directly up through a volume chamber in the grip frame to the valve at the top of the gun. There's also very few wires in the gun. There's only two wires that connect the battery to the board in the foregrip and two wires that connect the solenoid to the board inside the grip frame. There are no what, other wires. What's the, the plus feature wise? Why would somebody want to say, hey, I have minimal wires in my gun? What, what's the advantage? We found that most electronic problems and things that go wrong are not actually down to the components. Diodes in the eyes don't actually go wrong. What goes wrong is the wiring harness or the connections to the diodes where the wires have flexed and broken away. So we've got rid of that. The wires have been removed and the eyes are actually hard mounted to a sensor board along with the uh, trigger switch sensor and the solenoid connection at the back of the gun. The few wires that there are are quick release wires. There is no way you can disassemble the gun and pull wires out. So you can take the gun a whole, completely apart without having to worry about yanking wires out of different areas. Now one of, one of the things I, I remember when, when you first had uh, some images that went on the internet, going around discussion boards, uh, some of the CAD drawings, somebody's response was, well gee that regulator looks big, but I You've got the regulator in a different place. What, what's going on in the foregrip and what's going on with your regulator? A lot of people, when they saw the first pictures, were used to seeing a gun with a certain size body. So they found it hard to understand the scale of the whole concept. The Mini really is Mini. It's an extremely small gun. The foregrip is only large enough to hold a 9-volt battery and a circuit board. This front section of the gun isn't actually a regulator. That's the whole control electronics of the gun and the battery. The regulator is a whole new design concept in the bottom of the ASA. People have tried to do this before, but with um, a lot of different problems. This is a, a new concept. At the back of the regulator, before the air even gets into the gun, there's a sintered filter. So the air is clean before it gets near any of the working components of the gun. There's also on the bottom a pressure blow-off, which means that if ever the pressure was to get to a level where it might damage O-rings or the seals or the solenoid, it vents out the bottom before it goes into the gun. This front section of the ASA is actually the regulator, which then transfers the air up through the gas chamber. The grip only has the solenoid in it and the uh, volume chamber. And the reason we managed to make the gun so small is that we have this whole volume chamber down here, which would have previously had to have been in the gun's body. Now, I know that as it's not uh, shipping yet, you were talking about uh, early December is the projected ship date. Yes. We're, we're not allowed to actually look inside, but what's the general, uh, what can you summarize about how the gun's operating? We have a, a pressure control poppet system. This is, again, new technology. It's not like any of the other guns out there on the market. We're trying to move forwards in many ways. There's actually a, a poppet, a, a pressure control poppet in the back of the gun, which is held forward by compressed air. When we release that air and take it through the solenoid and bring it to the bolt, it comes to the bolt in two stages. The first hole is very small and restrictive, so the first stage of the bolt movement is relatively slow and gentle. And then as the bolt moves forwards, it passes the second hole, and then the bolt comes forwards at full speed. As that air is taken from behind the poppet, that allows the poppet to open up, and the gas comes out from the volume chamber and actually fires the ball. It's an extremely simple design, and the simple design means it's consistent, it's reliable, and uh, consistency is what I believe gives you accuracy. Now, complexity-wise, what's involved to strip the valve mechanism out for cleaning? Very simply, the one screw at the back here. When you take that screw out, the bolt guide, the bolt, and the spring just slide straight out the back of the gun. So it's just that one screw. You can also, if you want to take the gun apart, remove those two screws inside the foregrip, and that allows you to slide the foregrip and the electronics straight off the bottom. One thing that I found when I was playing many formats of paintball, MPPL rules, PSP rules, Expo rules, once I had the gun set up for one format and then had to go back and get it semi-auto legal again, it was proving to be a little bit of a pain to tune it in and get it back exactly where I wanted it to be. So with this format, you'll actually be able to slide off the foregrip, slide on another one, and just set up whichever one you want exactly how you want it to be. And obviously, if there are any problems with the electronics that control the gun, you can slide it off and slide a replacement on very, very quickly and easily. And the system you've got set up with the ball detents and the sensorized are a little bit different than uh, what we're used to seeing in a lot of designs. What's new there? It is a little bit different. Because the eyes are actually hard mounted to the sensor board, they slide up into the body from below on the sensor board. And we've actually machined the breech in a special way such that they don't get dirty. And even if there was to get something stuck on them, you can very simply put your finger in and completely clean them off. The detents are little um, bullets with springs behind them. Very reliable system. We've moved away from the rubber nubbins because of reliability issues with the detents. 
Cool. Well, thank you very much, Simon. Thank you.